So now that it's morning, here's a bit better view of the area that I'm at. Got the stream running right beside me. That was really nice to hear all night. A little bit of mist and fog still hanging over the uh, lake area. And like I said, right around this corner here, I think is where the glacier's at. This is all, for the most part, glacier water. So today is another pretty day, as you just saw, and uh, I need to get a lot of miles behind me today, so that should be pretty easy to do, unless I stop a lot, which I tend to do in some places. But uh, 850 miles to go before I hit Squamish. I know I mentioned that last night, but Squamish isn't too far from Vancouver, and it's through an indirect route on, uh, looks like a secondary road or maybe like a byway rather than taking the highway all the way into Vancouver. Um, I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to take this uh, secondary route into the area of Vancouver. And then from there, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I know I don't want to go down into the city area. I'm not going to Vancouver Island. I don't want to pay for the ferry. And uh, I don't think I really have that kind of time. So um, for that reason, I'm just going to hang around um, the coastline, see what's there, and then kind of hug the coast as much as I can into uh, Washington and then down along Washington State do the same thing. So uh, that's the plan as of now, but uh, it's always changing. But regardless, I, I need to get all the, that mileage behind me today and tomorrow, um, which uh, should be at least be a pretty drive. Alright, so I'm outside, or I'm actually at Fraser Lake. Um, I was heading on uh, 16 towards, I think, Prince George. And I wanted a place with cell service tonight. And I struck out a couple of times trying to find some places off the beaten path. And uh, I mean, I could have stayed at a few places, but there was literally nothing around. So on iOverlander, this came up as a free camp spot. I really don't like staying at campgrounds, um, but uh, this one had a lot of good reviews. It's a Tuesday night, so I didn't think it'd be all that full, and it has the view of the lake. So for that reason, I decided just to uh, stay here. It's only a couple miles off the uh, main road, and it'd be a nice level area with a picnic table so I can have my coffee outside just chilling out either uh, tomorrow morning or make something tonight I don't know yet so but it is what it is so yeah it's uh, not too bad I mean you're right next to everybody but everybody else is in a camper there's one person in there and there's nobody here to my left I do have somebody here to the right so as soon as I turn off the Jeep, I hear the lovely sound of generators, which I'm sure they'll turn off at night, but just one of the reasons why I don't stay at campgrounds, even though they don't bother me, they still kind of annoy me. Um, and I've got a train actually going by here, which I heard goes by a couple of times, but I actually like trains. They don't bother me at all when I hear them. But uh, it's level ground. Unfortunately, the picnic table is sandwiched between me and the camper next to me, so I probably won't even use it. Um, we'll see. But uh, Decent view of the lake. I'm not going to stay here all that long, I don't think, um, tomorrow morning. Just uh, get up and do what I normally do and head out. I didn't make it quite as far as I thought I would. Um, didn't film a whole lot today just because uh, cloud cover just didn't um, make for nice pictures. And they're just, based on what I've seen the last few days, now I see some really nice stuff and I'm just like, eh, it's kind of not worth it. Plus, the pictures never come out the same through my dash cam as what I'm looking at. I, I've cut out so much footage just because, uh, you know, it looks amazing in the in in the windshield. And then when I look at it on video, I'm like, what exactly was I filming there? And then I have to really zoom in to see how nice it was. So a lot of that gets cut out anyway. So today, not much filming, not much going on, just a lot of driving. Stopped a few times to uh, do some stuff online and communicate with some people. But other than that, just uh, 
pretty easy going uh, driving day and that was it. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. So this is where I'm located. There's the lake and my view. And then you've just got a line of uh, spots for pull-throughs for RVs and other vehicles. And then there's some more spots back here. But uh, here's a pier out over there, which I'll probably walk to tomorrow morning. Just check that out after I make a cup of coffee. But uh, overall, it's a decent spot. Can't complain. Especially since uh, something like this is for free. And the bathrooms, which are right there, have flushable toilets and uh, even a sink with soap. So um, it's pretty cool for a free spot, if you ask me.
took this side road off of 97 and just saw this off that side road, so take a look and see where we are going to end up. I don't think it's going to be much of a view because uh, we're not at a mountain top or anything like that. But kind of look interesting. Yeah, there's a local dump right there. <laughs> So that is the highway right down there. And I don't think I don't think this is going to work.